Y'all, y'all bunch of freaking haters. You said I couldn't do it. And I did it. Hey, Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I already made a video about this as I casually lean against my wall. I already made a video about this, but I just wanted to revisit this topic because it's kind of relevant to the types of critters that I've been getting and putting in with my turtles. And those, of course, are fish. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, what kinds of fish can I put with my turtles? Are they gonna be aggressive? Won't the turtles eat them? Blah, 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 blah. We're gonna cover a couple different topics kind of quickly today in this quick little video. Like I said, I already made a video on this topic more in depth, slower, like three years ago up here, if you wanna watch that. Otherwise, I'll try to condense it all down into this video here. No, 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 stay there. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, this is my 20 gallon spotted turtle tank. That is my female spotted turtle. Her name is Peanut. She is eating a, a rock, I think. She's being funky. Anyways, this is her 20 gallon tank. And so I lost her sister, uh, Butter, who is in here. So in order to enjoy this tank again, I made a whole video on it. If you click the link, click the link right up over here about how I added these little koi guppies to this aquarium and how I, I wanted to enjoy the tank again and I wanted to enjoy the fish. So one of the first rules about keeping fish in with your turtles, number one is to have enough space. If there's enough space for the fish to get away, the fish can and usually will have better odds of survival. One of the most basic baseline things is that you have to keep fish that you're okay with being eaten. Also, this includes fish that are safe to be eaten. Goldfish and rosy red minnows contain thiaminase, which is not exactly good for turtles. I think it like inhibits their calcium retention, something bad, icky, nasty, not good like that. Live bears are great. These include platys, guppies, mollies, sword tails, and a couple other species that I can't think of off the top of my head. So hence, that's why I got guppies. Guppies. They're pretty, they look good, they eat the scraps that the turtle doesn't eat. Here's some little pieces of uh, krill treat that they will eat. Excuse the cloudy water, I just did a fat water change because I want the tank to look good for all y'all. So anyways, I have five live bears here. I have guppies, you know, that means that they have live babies. That also means that they breed like rabbits, hence the little fellas that you could see swimming around in the back there. I love putting fish in enclosures when I can because number one, like they have babies so often that even if one or two of the fish are eaten, they are quickly replaced by the babies that hopefully will live and survive and do well. Also, live bears are non-aggressive. People have kept cichlids in with their turtles. The turtle girl actually has a video on some musk turtles that she has that were kept with cichlids and the cichlids literally ate the eyes of the musk turtles. So I like to keep nice, non-aggressive fish, just little live bears in with my turtles. The turtles definitely chased the fish around for a couple of days, even for a week or so, but in the end, they ended up giving up on them because if they're well fed, why would they go chasing these fish all around the tank trying to eat them when they can just wait for me to feed her pellets? You know what I mean? Like why waste your energy on one little morsel of a fish when you can just wait and be fed at a normal time? Also, when you put in, like you can probably guesstimate that at least 10 to 25% of the fish that you put in with your turtle will be eaten. Like, you know when they say survival of the fittest? Yeah, well, I kind of put the fish in here expecting that one or two or three will be picked off. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice. I am willing to make. But the ones that survive get left completely alone. Even when I do water changes and the water's down to like one or two inches, the fish are all totally fine and Miss Peanut completely ignores them. This also goes for another case that I'll show you over in the garage. Hi, hi Miss Mabel. That's Miss Mabel, my red foot tortoise. She's just, I don't know, she's just doing cute things, eating some of her squash and going for a little dip. Just a fun little interlude. Hello. So then another point is that people are like, well, won't the fish eat their babies? Uh, I don't know. Will they? If you have enough hiding spots for the fish and you have hiding spots for the babies, odds are they will quickly give you a nice little population of fish, uh, of live bears, of fish and baby fish. So because I have this plant here, the roots are starting to go nuts. I'm hoping to get a couple more plants for this tank. The koi guppies are completely ignoring their babies. Sure, they chase them every once in a while, but like the turtles, they quickly give up on that chase because they realize, you know, they can just wait to be fed like normal. So actually, I really did not expect the babies to do well here because there's a lot of open water and whatnot. But guys, these little baby guppies are really starting to do well. Then they're starting to put on some size. These guys are like a week old at this point, And that's just the first batch of babies. I have one male and four females in here. So the girls are very quickly. You can see that one right there. Well, she's due, same with that one there. They're, these girls are all pregnant. They are all super duper filled to the brim with babies. See that spot in the bottom right corner of, of like their bodies? Those are the little eyes. When they turn black, those are the eyes of the babies looking in. And when they're orange, it's the eggs. So the eggs basically hatch inside the females and then out pop 
live little babies like that one back there. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hi, Peanut. Anyways, so if you get fish that quickly multiply like live bears that can be eaten, you're okay if they all get wiped out. You see, she just chased the baby there and then immediately gave up. They will eat them if they can, just like the turtles will eat the fish if they can. You see, she's gonna chase that little baby guppy and then totally give up. Odds are, unless they're really hungry, they're gonna give up. If you keep them fairly well fed, they'll give up on eating those fish. Also, if you choose fish that will quickly <laughs> replace themselves, then uh, you have much better odds. And if you've got decorations and whatnot. So anyways, you wanna choose fast moving fish that you don't mind getting eaten if they happen to, that will quickly reproduce and you know replace themselves. And you wanna have nice hiding spots and places for the fish and the babies to get away. Let's go in the garage and take another look at this scaled up. All right, so in the garage, say that we scale this concept, this idea up to 110 gallons. Will it still work? Let's take a look. If you guys remember, I added fish into this enclosure. Let's go ahead and start feeding the turtles and then all of the fish will start coming out of their hiding spots because they do hide in here. So watch this. We're gonna take some pellets, toss them in and look at that. We've got some guppies coming over. We've got platies, guppies and sword tails, all live bearing fish. Watch this, watch this. Look, look, that's a platy right there. That is a nice looking like whitish platy. Look, there goes, I think a platy or a sword tail down there. Look at them, see them all the way down there at the bottom. Look, 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 and look at the guppies. You can see their tails, their big old tails. These ones are fancy guppies too. And regardless, they're surviving and doing great down here. That is a big orange sword tail down here. Sorry, uh, my apologies for the red light. It's the only heat lamp that I had left and it kind of makes things all look wonky. But regardless, look at all the fish. Look at the guppies, look at them all go. I mean, tell me that those fish are, are not being chased. Those fish are not being chased. They're not being bothered by the turtles. They're literally totally fine. And not only that, it gets freaking better. If I zoom in on the piece of wood, that there is a baby. Look, there's another baby. These guys, look at all those babies. These fellas are reproducing. And the first time that I did a water change, I thought, oh my God, these babies are tiny. There's no way that they're gonna survive. They were hiding in the wood. And look, there's actually some newborns right down there. Those little, little ones. And I thought there's no way that they're gonna survive, but they're pecking at the uneaten turtle food. They're getting big fairly quickly. They're hiding in these little spots. Of course, it's survival of the fittest. The ones that are the best at hiding are gonna survive. But when they do, check it out. Is that one? Wait, where did it just go? Look, 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 there's one. See it? They're hiding in the plants. They're hiding in all sorts of little crevices and places. And they are not just surviving, but thriving. They're eating and growing quicker than they would probably in a freaking aquarium. So guys, that's pretty much the point of today's video, just to let you guys know that you can keep fish with your turtles. It isn't as difficult as people make it out to seem, but be ready to lose those fish. I am totally more than willing and prepared. If one day I wake up and the turtles decided by chance to eat all of the fish, you gotta be ready for that. And you gotta have fish that are not gonna be detrimental for your turtle's health if they do eat them. And you're gonna wanna choose like peaceful, peaceful fish that won't peck at your turtle's eyes because some of them do that. Yoda, there's, uh, hi, there's food. Go look at the food, like pancake. Hi, buddy. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you that the babies were surviving and thriving in this enclosure. They were surviving and thriving in the little tank scaled up or down. These guys are doing great so long as they have hiding spots and all that fun jazz. If you would like to support me and the channel, please consider hitting the link right up over here. I'm doing Q and A's every Saturday, merch discounts. You get direct access to me, all kinds of fun stuff over there. You get input on what types of videos I make. And yeah, please consider supporting me over there. Now here comes the not so fun part of the video that I get to talk about, woo, for the long time people who watched. If you guys remember, I have a dog. His name's Louie. He's the cutest little freaking thing on the planet. But he's old. He's 12 and a half. And he's had what's called a uh, collapsed trachea for like a year. And so he's like coughing and whatnot, trouble catching his breath basically. And it's been not great, but he's dealt with it. It's now to the point where it's like not cool. He has trouble breathing, terrible nights. So there's going to be no video on Friday because Tuesday, um, he's not sticking around anymore so it's gonna be great so he's going to the vet on tuesday i actually have to take one of my other turtles to the vet tomorrow monday um but regardless no video friday because louis going to sleep which is not gonna be fun so no video tuesday i will upload shorts i will still answer my emails and patreon messages and whatnot but just i'm just gonna take that day off thank you for understanding thank you for watching thank you guys so much for your support and i'll see y'all in the next one